This rivalry has been brewing for a long time, and it spills over tonight at Brooklyn Hall. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters, this is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. He is Rocky Marciano. He's five foot ten inches tall, one of the greatest heavyweights to ever live. Undefeated. He will face Joe Lewis. He's six foot two inches tall, 181 pounds, one of the best right hands in the business. You want to get out of the way because when you've got a brawler that's in your face that wants to walk through you like a truck, you've just got to use your speed, use that reach, use that height, and keep them off you because if they get up close and personal, you're going to have no ribs left. The Rock, Rocky Marciano. The Brockton brawler himself, one of the greatest fighters of all time. A sparkling record and one of the best to ever do it. The Brown Bomber Joe Lewis, one of the most historically important fighters of all time. Todd, can you spot the reach difference? Can you spot it? Look at that. Well, those are the particulars. Now it's time to get this fight underway. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, here is a Hall of Fame legend from Brockton, Massachusetts, a Ring Magazine world champion, and an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Introducing the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. Fighting out of the blue corner, an iconic longtime world champion who defended his title for a record of 12 years. Introducing a heavyweight champion of the world, the one and only Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. Right. Todd, I'm so excited. What a night it is. You can hardly hear yourself speak. The atmosphere, the, the people at ringside, this is ridiculous. Here we go, round one. Who's going to land the first big shot? I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. Oh, man, you've got swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. Now or never, the clock is ticking. This is his big chance. A much better game plan here. And his offense gets stifled there by a clinch. And there's an uppercut, a big uppercut, and his knees buckled that time. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. You can see he does not like being grabbed onto. <laughs> Missed him with that uppercut. <laughs> nice punch.
keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. A win is not just a win for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. Another scoring shot there. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Not much to write home about in that round, huh, Johnny? You've got to see what's in front of you. Don't pressure them. Let them take their own pace. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up and get a breather right back into the action. Five. Here we go. Round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? the way the connect percentages have to be off the charts. This fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is a thick young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. Gets out of the way of that right uppercut. This is not the way he wanted this. Knocked down hard. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues the count. in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch and you can lose the fight in one punch. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. some defense. Right uppercut just off target. So final 10 seconds of the round and he is looking really sharp. Now Johnny, they've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? So that they don't get complacent. You think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. 
And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. The bell rings and we start the third. There's no doubt that this fight... Hall of Famer Joe Lewis is down. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one will count. someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with it? Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got... Rocky Marciano in trouble, do you believe it? Oh, do you believe this? Rocky Marciano is down! Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Misses with the left uppercut. He just misses with that big right hand. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. The Brown Bomber in some trouble. Big, heavy shots, and Lewis is down. One, Looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely. Point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, it's like two different leagues. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Back at it in round four. He 
through the hook, didn't land. Big left there, but misses. Got him with a clean right uppercut. and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Punch hurt him. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this guy that can seriously hurt you? That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the equalizer. We've seen in the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Fighters speed for you. There's some method to them. Are we about to witness history? The great Rocky Marciano in serious trouble. Looks like they've shaken it off. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. This one could go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? The referee calling for seconds out, right back into the action. There we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Oh, Joe Lewis just got caught. The Brown Bomber goes to the canvas. Great 
Page, Joe Lewis is down. Knockout victory. What? There's no argument right there. Not that you say it. Night, night.